When we talk pros, we must discuss cons just for the sake of objectivity. In the previous video, we already spoke about the pros, so now let's talk about the cons of allowing high school girls to get their hair. The school system knows very well that when we are given an inch, we take a yard, and we are proud of that because rules are meant to be broken. And the con here is, girls would know very well that this hairstyle is prohibited, but they'll still go ahead and try it. Why would they do that? Because we just like to dare the system. Some students are definitely going to struggle with time management. They will find it hard to finish the hairstyles before the time allocated. But this is normal, even for working class people. So then they'll have to find ways and means to thrive. Finally, there are some people who really don't want to deal with their hair. They just want to sit in the salon chair and be pampered. So they might not really care much to learn to want to learn how to do their hair because they simply prefer to pay at this point. And that's not bad. We're cool. Some of us are already doing hair. We like to make some extra cash from that. So it's both a pro and a con. We are not complaining. We like it. So you see, it's not really an issue. Just allow the girls the opportunity to keep their hair and this will open a myriad of opportunities for them to learn. Struggles are part of life. People struggle, but the good thing is they will find coping mechanisms to deal with it and to grow from it. Let's have a conversation about this and definitely save this for later. You might just need it.